Alright, hello everyone. It has been quite a while since I did anything Outlast related, so I thought I might as well show you um, kind of an update on the uh, school map. And uh, as you see, one of the biggest things I did was I made the, um, the walls darker, so you can see the entire, uh, how the rooms are laid out. And this was done so you can see it easier, but also because you know that it's a wall. Because since this is very detailed, uh, you want to be able to distinguish between a, a wall and something else. So, yeah. Um, another thing I did was I added in lockers and heaters, so... That's what the H is, heater, and L is, lockers. Uh, this is still not the final version that I have. I, I'm still going to add a lot more to this. So, um, in the last uh, update, I'll have um, uh, fire alarms, fire extinguishers. So, it's very detailed. Um, so for the first floor, you see I've been trying to also kind of work on areas that I haven't really touched on. For example, this outdoor front area, how that's all shaped. And I've also been trying to figure out the uh, shape of the school, so you can see that this was not here before. Now, keep in mind that this is all guesswork, so it's not 100%, you know, it could be a little bit different, but that's just my guess, you know, we probably will never find out what it's like, so I kind of want to guess. Um, another important thing is, if you've seen my last video, I talked about the uh, hallway that, you know, I couldn't find where it connects to. I think it's somewhere over here. I've been playing around with that. It's kind of a puzzle, you know, figuring out how it connects and stuff. And in the final update, I'll have that as well. So I just kind of need to uh, put it in there. But it's here. I've pretty much figured it out it's over here because there's really no other place that really connects to. So, and I also have to do in uh, the details for the courtyard, because there actually are a lot of stuff for that. Mm, and I think that's pretty much it. I do have a little bit of event event there. I also have to draw the one in for uh, 126B, 137B, because uh, I haven't done that. That's the uh, classroom where Blake falls in through the vent. And it's the only one with a uh, green uh, wallpaper, too, which is very interesting. All the other classrooms have a uh, white slash blue wallpaper, so. Um, yeah, so just one last look around. Yeah. And the uh, numbers that you see next to the doors are... Uh, uh, this little chart I drew up, which has the different types of doors, because not all of the doors in the school are the same. There are a bunch of different types. And uh, ignore the ones for the windows. That's just to count how many panes there are. So here is the second floor. And I also did the same for this. Um, there's not as much lockers as up here, I've noticed. So, the hallways are kind of bare up here. Not a lot going on. I also try to figure out, like, what kinds of different classrooms are up here. Like, for example, 205B is a biology class because it has posters of the human skeleton and brain in there. So, it's got to be a biology class. And one of the other ones, I think... Uh, 207A and 213D also have like posters of uh, like different types of plants or something. 
So that's very interesting. I'm not sure about 212D because it, you can't really see inside of it. And if you do see inside of it, there's nothing in there. So it could be just an ordinary classroom. But, you know, since it's like a group of three, that they'll all be the same. So you're not really sure. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for that. Um, anything else? Probably not. See, so yeah, one last look around. And now we have the roof. The roof is very interesting. Um, I've also been doing a lot with the roof. I'm still not really done with all, like, the walls and stuff. Uh, hang on a second. It's not focusing. There we go. I'm not done with, like, the figuring out the, uh, walls and stuff, so I still need to work on that a little bit. Uh, this right here, there's supposed to be a wall here. As you notice, there are, like, uh, windows in the, uh, like, corner section. This is also something new I found out as well. Um, you see that there's windows here. I thought, uh, before last month, I thought that these windows only went up to the second floor, but they actually go up all the way to the third, which is very interesting. So I have to do that. Um, so yeah, like the roof is not just flat. It has like separate like small little buildings and rooms up here. So fig figuring that out. And there's a lot of fences up here which prohibit you from going into other areas. But I saw that this area is completely open. So it probably just goes away to the uh, where the wall is. Because, you know, it's the roof. It can't overhang. So, I still have to add in other details too. You see that there's some vents, but there are some other smaller vents and also pipes up here. I might add those in as well. So, yeah, and the, uh, you see this line is lighter. That's not a wall. That's where the roof overhangs, where, where the roof ends. So, just to make sure I don't extend past that line. Same for the courtyard. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's the, uh, little progress update for you guys. Uh, I do have more Outlast, uh, related stuff coming up. So, this is just one of them. I also want to make a simpler, uh, map for the school where it just shows walls and doors, kind of like a emergency escape plan type of thing. Which I am actually working on right now for the uh, Outlast map for the Asylum. Because I showed you guys the detailed one. But I also want to make a simpler one for the um, the Asylum. So in the end, I'm going to have four maps. One detailed one for the school. And one detailed one for the Asylum. And one simple one of the school. And one simple one of the uh, Asylum. So that's how it goes. And I also do have some other stuff planned, but that's a surprise for now. So, uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please like it. If you have any questions, uh, leave them th down in the comments. I'm always happy to help. And, yeah, guys, I'm going to leave it right there. So, bye. Take it easy, guys.